Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Matt Cleverton, the director of instruction at the world-renowned Kingston Heath Golf Club. Matt's also the Victorian PGA Teacher of the Year, and we're gonna be based at Kingston Heath Golf Club in Melbourne, Australia, where he's gonna teach us how to stop the dreaded pitching shanks. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around till the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I, help, before I help you find this area of your game, let's find out how to stop the pitching shanks. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. I've got a case of the shanks in my pitching. I've made my way down to the practice fairway to see if I can sort it out. When we talk about turn, not tilt, we're referencing rotating around that front leg. Players can sometimes come and say, I've developed a little bit of the shanks or maybe the shanks in their longer irons, or even it just might be a sporadic one-off shank every now and then that sends them into a panic. One of the things that you can look at is weight distribution through the ball. When I come into impact, if I flinch because I'm worried about the shank and I come forward onto my toes, I'm obviously forcing the hosel out towards the golf ball, exposing yourself to the shank. One little thing that you can do to help is actually practice hitting pitch shots, keeping this left toe in the air, helping you to rotate around that left side. If you can't keep it up, and as you come into impact, you feel yourself put your toes back down, you are at risk of shanking the golf ball. This is gonna help you with your dynamic balance from driver through to your bunker plate. Let's give it a go. So I set up to it, I lift my left toe off the ground. I take my normal setup with chest position and weight distribution. And then from there, I just try to hold that toe up as I come through impact. Let's give another one a go. So again, take my setup, hold my left toe in the air, maintain it in the air for the duration of the turn of the pitch. If you've got the shanks, give that a go. Hopefully, that'll return you to the center of the face. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful, or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University Skill Assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent and in control of your golf game, I also want to invite you to join the 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. And as a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like me, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or you've even got an idea or a suggestion for another lesson, leave a like and a comment below, and I'll do my best with my coaches to answer them for you. And if you've got any other golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below as well. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon too, so I can notify you every time a new episode's released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.